once you've had your first lesson explaining through the booklet, because you will hand out the booklet, that the students need to create an alarm using the Explorer, it's probably wise to uh, go through a few things um, with the Explorer, just to show them what it is. Uh, and then what they'll need to do is they'll need to install the software in order for you to be able to run the Explorer. And the Explorer has a lot of um, different functions that you can do with it and uh, what I found was the students like to learn how to use um, the buttons, um, the LED light which is this one here and also the the speaker. Um, that's a joystick there and they, they can get some programs. So first thing we need to do is install the software and so we need to go to uh, arduino.cc uh, which is this uh, website here. Then we can go to software and we can use uh, online tools and our online tool is the um, Arduino software installed. So um, there is a web editor, but what I found was that the firewall of the school actually blocks students from using it. So I've created an account. If I log in, uh, for some reason, the firewall stops our students from using the Arduino online editor, which is what you see here. Um, it doesn't talk to the Explorer and uh, so they can't do anything. So what you have to do is you actually have to uh, uh, install it. And I've put this into the booklet, but I just want to show you a couple of things. So you go to the area where it says software and choose downloads. Then you scroll down to where it says what you want to do. Now uh, on the laptops you can use the Windows zip file and sometimes this doesn't work so I get the students to use the Windows app. Uh, they need a Windows account, a Microsoft account sorry, to be able to install the Windows app. Um, on, in the booklet I've explained how to download the zip file and what to do with it. So the zip file ends up in your downloads and you can see uh, that I've done a number of different um, Arduino uh, works or these are ones that I've actually marked from the students but there is the folder after it's been extracted and what then I did was grab this icon and put it onto my taskbar which is where you can see it there. So. Um, there are instructions on the in the booklet on how to install it. If I show you uh, here, there's the steps that I've just been talking about. Uh, you just download it. Uh, it then becomes a zip file. I then say, see how this is a compressed file. Do you need to extract it. Uh, you choose a location, and then. The last thing I say is you may wish to add a shortcut to your taskbar or your desktop. So that's what I've done there. Now the, the software looks like this and you can see the any programming is called a sketch and uh, any any uh, anytime you work in this it automatically creates a date of when you are doing that. If we have a look at the software, um, this is uh, enabling you to put uh, comments in here so I can put whatever I want in there. Um, so if I wanted to write a comment, I could say, great, great, great job, and it would, it would not be part of the programming. Now, void setup is where you want a piece of software, uh, uh, sorry, a piece of code to run once, and void loop is when you want something to run repeatedly. Now, that is the interface that we're going to be working with. So the next video, is I'm going to talk a lot more about how to actually in interact with this and also the Explorer.